Hello, Rob here, and coming up on R&B Reviews, it is time for a new generation to enjoy the characters known as the Addams Family. So I will be reviewing the new animated adaptation of the classic characters created by Charles M. Adams. Welcome to R&B Reviews. Sit back and enjoy and watch the review. Like and subscribe right now. <laughs> Now, I was really excited to see the new adaptation of The Addams Family. I grew up watching the reruns of the 1960s TV series when I was a kid, and I also enjoyed the live-action movies of the early 1990s. Now, what I like about The Addams Family is that they are a weird, macabre family that really embraces who they are and their weirdness. Now, the movie um, follows, you know, the regular characters Gomez, Morticia, Pugsley, Wednesday, Uncle Fester, and Grandma Adams in their spooky, kooky house up at the top of the hill. But trouble soon arises when a TV personality named Margot Nieder creates a new bright town at the bottom of the hill from where the Adams family lives. The town is called Assimilation. Yes, that's really what the town is called. And when she realizes that the Adams' eerie, spooky hilltop mansion is standing in the way of her dream of selling all these houses in the neighborhood, so she creates a plan to try to get rid of the Adams family. There's also a subplot with Pugsley getting ready to celebrate a traditional Adams family ceremony into manhood. And Wednesday befriends Margot's daughter and begins to rebel against her family. Now, there were some elements of the movie that I liked, but overall, I thought the movie was just okay. Um, I really love the beginning of the movie when Gomez and Morticia are first getting settled, as well as the dark humor and the visual gags. Uh, the jokes come real fast and furious here, and I really like the satire. For example, Margot uses social media to sway the people in the town of assimilation to a certain way. So, um, And the cast, I thought the cast did very well with the voices. You have Oscar Isaac as Gomez Adams, Charlize Theron as Morticia, uh, Chloe Grace Morenz as Wednesday, Finn Wolfhard is Pugsley, and Nick Kroll is Uncle Fester, and Bette Midler is Grandma. Now, oftentimes when you get well-known actors to do voices in an animated movie, it, it can be more of a distraction because it doesn't sound like they're creating characters. It's just the actor's own persona, pretty much. But here, I thought the cast really did a good job at bringing the persona of the Adam Sandler characters to life. Uh, the themes of everyone having the right to be different has been used in quite a number of uh, family films lately, and I felt like it was a little bit heavy-handed here, but I did like that the movie t touches on parents watching their kids grow up, and I also was worried about um, seeing a lot of Wednesday Adams because I saw one trailer where there was a lot of her scenes, and Morenz's monotone voice got a little bit old after a while, but thankfully that wasn't the case. All the characters have their subplots and moments to shine, and luckily her scenes were spread out. Despite these moments, I felt like it was a pilot for a new animated series. There were some subplots that I wanted to see more of uh, that weren't really given a chance to develop. For example, I wanted more scenes of Wednesday interacting with quids, uh, kids at the local middle school. And, you know, maybe a little bit more about Pugsley's subplot as well. It also did lack the witty dialogue of the early 90s movies, and some of the subplots did kind of feel familiar. But going back to the school, Wednesday interacting with... Um, uh, kids at the school, I believe, is similar to an earlier episode of The Addams Family itself. But still, I thought the movie was amusing and entertaining. Um, maybe it's not the best adaptation to features the characters, but overall, it did make me laugh. I thought that it was amusing and fun, so I give it a mild See It in Theaters rating. Well, what did you think of The Addams Family? Did you like it more than I did? Were you disappointed with it? Please go ahead and put your comments below. And feel free to check out some other movies that you can watch in the movie theaters or in the comforts of your own home. Please hit the like button and please be a subscriber. Thank you very much for watching.